All right. Uh, same idea on this one. We're going to have to factor out the denominators just to see what binomials may be missing from either one so that we can get common denominators. So I'll look at a squared plus 10a plus 25 in red. And 25 should split up into 5 and 5. Uh, making that a perfect square, but I'm going to show it factored just so we can see the different parts. I got a plus 5 and a plus 5. That's in the denominator, by the way. It's being subtracted from in purple. We got a squared plus 6a plus 5. So 5 would split up into 1 and 5. So then we have a plus 1 and a plus 5. So now we need to look and consider which or what's missing from each of these two denominators. And on the left here with those red ones, it's missing that a plus 1. So we'll have to multiply the a also, the numerator, by a plus 1. In the purple, that one is missing a second a plus 5. And even though it duplicates, we do need to see that it happens twice there. So we need to multiply the numerator also by a plus 5. And writing this now as one full fraction, I have my denominators which are the same. a plus 1 times a plus 5 times a plus 5. And the numerator is still the same. a plus 1 times the a minus 4 minus a times the a plus 5. And at this point now, we'll multiply the two terms. All right, let's go ahead and multiply these. So the next, uh, I guess, uh, simplified form, it'll still have the same denominators, though. Uh, but let's just look at these. If I distribute an a here, I've got an a squared plus a. And then I'm going to subtract this. I'm going to keep these in parentheses and then I'll change the signs afterwards okay so I've got a 4a plus 20 minus a squared minus 5a well now I would change the signs well, wouldn't you cancel out the a squared? so let's go ahead and change those signs that's gonna be minus 4a, that'll be minus 20, plus a squared, and plus 5a right there. Uh, I'll go and rewrite that. All right, this is great, because now we can see what like terms we can combine. I've got this a squared and this a squared, which gives me two a squareds. I've got this a minus 4a is negative 3a, plus this 5a would be plus... 2a and then the minus 20. Well, I should factor out this numerator just because I see that uh, the coefficients and the constant are all even. So I'm going to factor out a 2 from each one of those. So I'd have 2 times a squared plus a minus 10. And it's going to be over the same denominator. Um, and looking at factors of negative 10, 5 and 2 won't work. Neither will 10 and 1. So that looks like it's completely factored. Just again, be careful. Usually they can be factored so that something cancels. It just didn't happen in this case. Also in that denominator, if you wrote a plus 5 squared as a quantity, you'd be fine. Right now, that looks like it cannot be factored.